Hello! Happy Tuesday, everyone! Right now, I'm just hanging out around the house. I got myself cleaned up a little bit so I would feel a little more energized, and it worked. Now I'm going to let some sunshine in, because it's super dark in here. Um, yesterday, I really didn't do much. That's why I didn't vlog. I crocheted a lot, because... Um, Last weekend, my mom sold, like, almost all of my stuff. So I've been trying to build up my inventory some more. There we go. I'll show you guys what I finished. I made two headbands. Well, no, I made two hats for one of Britt's friends. Uh, they just had a little girl. And I made her a hat. And it was camouflaged, and it had a pink flower on it. And she really liked it, so she asked if I could make some more, but she didn't have, like, any requests on what she wanted, so I made, like, a little, um, like, ballerina pink beanie with a bow on it, and I made a purple, um, with pink trim beanie with a little flower on it. The flower was, like, that big, and they were both really cute, so, um, we already delivered those, so I can't show those to you guys. But I finished this headband. I've decided to make them five stitches uh, wider because some people were requesting wider um, headbands because it helps cover their ears a little bit better. That one was really cute. This this white and this white are the same and then I used that um, sparkly like uh, silver yarn that I really like and I need to get more of it. And then this one is like um, a teal and a white and gray. And then this one, I called this one the frozen one. It's like an aqua blue with sparkly, I hope you guys can see that, sparkly white. Beautiful! And those took me quite a while. I crocheted for like six hours straight yesterday. So, today, um, what have I done? We got up, uh, Britt's mom stayed night with us last night. She's in the process of looking for a house. And today is her last day to be out of her house, so she left and she's getting the rest of her stuff out of her old house. And so I hung out with her this morning, I made some breakfast, thought about doing the dishes, but then my feet started hurting really bad. Which, they always hurt, but like, I can't even stand long enough to like put my hair up without my feet starting to like, they get this like pokey, itchy, burning feeling, and it, it sucks. But, tomorrow I'll be 38 weeks, so I am technically full term. He could come anytime and it would be okay. The sooner the better, because I am just, like I'm out of breath talking to you right now. Like he is hanging out in my ribs. Yeah. I am not nearly as big as I was with Gavin. Isn't that weird? Because I heard that... Like, with your, after your first pregnancy, you start to get, like, you get bigger. It was not that way with me. I was a lot bigger with Gavin. So, my stretch marks, I'll show them to you guys. I don't know if you can see them. They, I haven't got any more stretch marks. Um, but the ones that I did get from Gavin are, like, more pronounced right now. Because, you know, my skin's stretching and I can feel it. But I've been putting, um, um, what is it? It's like cocoa butter oil, cocoa oil 
on <clears throat> a lot more religiously than I did with Gavin. I think that if I would have kept it up more with Gav, I wouldn't have as many stretch marks. But I think that if you're going to get stretch marks, you're going to get stretch marks. There's just nothing you can do about it. And I don't care. It's no big deal to me. I probably won't wear a bikini next summer because I'll have all that loose skin. But like two summers from now, I'll probably be back in a bikini. But So that's my little pregnancy update there. I go back to the doctor Thursday. I'm going to try and find a sitter for Gavin. Because like, I think he's going to um, check my dilation this time. So I don't really want him to be in there and have to go through that. So yeah, I think here in a little while we might run to the store because Gavin's school pictures came in and I got um, two 8x10s and I want to put one in a frame for me and then I'll probably give the other one to somebody. And they turned out really, really good. He did such a good job. I can show them to you guys real quick. <laughs> These top ones are football pictures. Look how cute he is. Oh, my little bug. He is so handsome. He really is. Alright guys, well I gotta start crocheting some more if I want to make some Christmas money. So that's what I'm going to be doing for the next few hours. Well, me and Gav just stopped to get some food on our way to the park. We're here at McDonald's, our go-to place. It's like a little after three. It's not really lunchtime, but this is usually the time when me and Gavin eat lunch, and then we kind of have a late dinner with Dad. So we're gonna go play for a while and burn off some steam so that we can go to bed on time tonight, right? Yeah. And you gotta take a bath when we get home too. Yeah, but actually guys, I'm gonna get a Halloween pail. You are? That's awesome. I'm excited. Halloween pale. I want to know what's in it. It is beautiful outside. It's actually a lot, lot warmer than it has been here recently. I'd say it's over like 75 degrees. We're used what? to it being like 65 degrees. Yeah. So I thought we'd take advantage of it and go play at the park for a little while. Yeah, we'll, we'll go eat over there. Whoops. Yeah, that way I, I, I can be. We can eat at that, I can be, that way table. I can, can you help me carry stuff? You want to carry your bucket? Huh? Want to carry your bucket? Sure. Give me a bucket. Give me a bucket. Okay. Okay, see.
You said higher. Well, we just came out of Walmart and we bought some goodies. We bought we got, some Bowser's. We got the Cheetos bag of bones white cheddar. You want to try some? Yes, but it's like a puzzle. It is? We, oh yeah, you can build your own little skeleton. Alright, let's get it open. They smell good. I got a rib cage. I got a rib cage too. Pretty good, aren't they? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Cheesy. Mm -hmm. Oh, cheesy. I got hand. There's a femur. Head mom. All right, get in your seat. Um, we got some other stuff mm -hmm. that was in the clearance aisle. Like some candles. We didn't get any candles. We didn't get any candles. Our Yankee candles are coming in tomorrow. The the uh, fundraiser one. What you're doing to the seat? <laughs> you're making drink this. all of it. All right, get in your seat and get buckled, okay? Okay, 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 okay. But can I have some of those? Once you get buckled. <laughs> skin and then you kind of rub it in. It's supposed to kill fleas. He has fleas. Bad. Oh, there it is. Don't look at the dirty dishes. Here's this stuff. The flea pet and bedding spray. Kills fleas on contact. Can be used on dogs and puppies. Spray entire animal. Until damp. And then you just work it in with a towel. Oh, you're doing it, Clover. You don't feel good. You don't feel good. Uh, he looks so sad. Maybe this will make you soft. Instead of feeling like a roll pad. <laughs> oh, he just looks so sad. Poor guy. 